You go, we, go, we went through three phases, 2003 to 2011, primarily a military uh, relationship based on U.S. major majority military engagement uh, and post the liberation occupation of Iraq thereafter. 2011 to 2014, prior to the invasion of Daesh or uh, occupation of Daesh to Mosul and part of my country, the relationship went uh, through a lull and went through what you might call uh, a, a quiet relationship, where it wasn't clear what, is the, what, is, what are the drivers for that relationship. US were not heavily engaged. Iraqis were not heavily requiring US engagement. However, since 2014, mid summer of 2014 up to now, there is a significant US re-engagement, significant uh, political engagement to complement the security engagement. Why? Because the challenge of ISIS is not domestic to Iraq. It's a regional challenge. It is a manifestation of what we have, uh, what we have in Iraq and in the region. The illnesses as much as the challenges I talked about before. The global threat ISIS or Daesh or any of the offspring of Al-Qaeda possess is still there. Clear present danger. The challenges to addressing it is still questionable in a sense of, is the U.S. and other countries willing to invest in identifying the root causes of this, or will containment be their approach for it? It's not my problem, or it's somebody else's problem, or not on my sh sort of on watch. These are the key challenges we in Iraq are asking and others are asking. The U.S. position itself as to what it wants, if it wants to be a global power, is in question here. Does it want to have that role? with the cost and benefit associated with it, or does it think that it can contain the problem to a certain extent? I can assure you with my humble experience, it cannot be contained. Why? Because they are deep, they have been there. It's not an issue of a phenomenon which can be addressed easily. It addresses the root identity of the region in which nation state as a concept isn't challenged. 